Hello, in this short video, I'll share with you some tips and tricks on how to install a hose pump. Basic hydraulic principles apply when designing a hose pump system. It's important to remember to leave space for maintenance. The only wearing part in a hose pump is the hose, so it's important to have a removable section or a flexible connection at the suction and discharge port to allow for easy removal and installation of the hose. It's also very nice to have the VFD either integral to the pump or mounted very nearby. Uh, the VFD is used to control the motor and control the pump, and the pump is used to either draw the new hose in or eject the old hose. Also very important to uh, mount the pump at waist level when possible. Uh, this, is, this makes the pump easier to work on for the maintenance personnel. There's less bending down or, or reaching up. And it's also very important to have the pump in a visible location so that you can uh, monitor the direction of rotation, but also check the lubricant level and make sure that the, the pump has plenty of lubricant inside. So uh, common sense will get you about 90% of the way there. So let's have a little bit of fun and uh, take a look at a few installations that maybe uh, don't uh, meet up with all of our criteria. Uh, here's one installation where uh, for some reason the pumps were mounted uh, directly against a concrete wall. Um, in this case you won't be able to see the rotation, uh, you won't be able to see the lube level, also the hose changes are going to be a bit tricky. Um, another installation uh, where space was a problem, uh, you can see that this is inside of some enclosure, perhaps a silo, uh, and these pumps are mounted right up against the side of the enclosure. So maintenance is going to be difficult. Also going to be tough to check on the lubricant level in this pump. This is a pump installation with long vertical runs of PVC. Would have been nice to see some flexible hose at the connections here. Would also be good to see that PVC pipe uh, braced in some way or a pulsation dampener included. They're going to have a lot of vibration concerns uh, with this type of installation. And uh, last but not least is a chemical metering pump installation wherein, uh, for whatever reason, um, the spare hoses were actually installed in the discharge pipe work. You can see there's a, a Dura 25 hose here. There's another look, that's the, the Dura 25 hose, which is held in place with a ring clamp um, inside the discharge pipe work. So a very odd, very incorrect installation. So to recap, it's always going to be best to follow the best practices, hydraulic principles, uh, and if there's any questions outstanding, we've always got engineers standing by and we can support with recommendations and also with uh, electronic documents like CAD drawings, 3D models, PNIDs. Um, engineers are, are standing by and we're happy to help. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to look out for more content from Verter.